This question deals with how to construct a box and whisker plot. The purpose is to construct two separate box and whisker plot to compare two columns of information. In this case, we are comparing sales between male and female employees. To construct a box and whisker plot, what you need to do is to select or highlight the column, the two columns of information that you are interested in. And then go to insert. And this is a graph, so we're going to select a chart. And select see all charts. When you click on see all charts, go to all charts. And then select the box whisker box and a whisker plot right there and click OK. Your box and a whisker plot will show up. Now in order to expand on this plot, you don't need a title. So we click on the title and hit the delete button. We also don't need the horizontal axis one we hit the delete button. Now we need to show that the blue box plot represent the female column, whilst the red box plot represent the male sales column. To do this, we have to hit the plus sign. Click on the plus sign to be able to check on what you would like to see. So the legend will give you that. It gives you the indication that the blue box plot represent female cells, whilst the red box plot is represented by the male cells. And that's basically it for your box and whisker plot. Now, there are five markers on this box plot, which indicate the five number summary. It begins with the lowest point, which is the lowest value for the female. And as you take your cursor and try to highlight on the base of the whisker, you can really see that Excel will give you a highlighted value, which is in this case $30,000 for female. That's the minimum sales. And then beginning with the box, you have your quarter one, which has a value of 45575 And then as you move to the median, which is the middle value, that value represents 67,400. And then to quarter three, which takes you to the uppermost of the box plot, the box itself, which is 80,475. And then finally, to the highest maximum value, which is 90. 1400. You also notice that a dotted point has been slotted right here, and this indicates an outlier because it doesn't form part of the box plot. So Excel exclude that and denote that with a dot, and it has a value of 150,800, which is exactly what the value in this column section indicate. That is an outlier for the female sales. You can do the same. You can see the same for the male employees, right? Where you have the lowest to be 25,500, quarter one to be 31,625. The median is 57,450. The Q1 the Q3, sorry, is 89,500. And then the maximum value 
is 129,600. There is no outlier for the male sales. So as you can see, Excel has not shown any dotted point above or below the box plot. So this is essentially what your box and whisker plot means. And then you have the options to um, complete this segment of the assignment by looking for the central value, which is given by the median, the spread, which is given by the difference between Q1 and Q3, the skewness, which is determined by the length of the whiskers, and then an outlier, if that has been indicated on a chart, you have to identify that in, by writings. And that's it.